I mean, really, who knew? You know, for the first time, Baltimore City crime obviously has been on everyone's mind, but this year it's considered a top priority in both parties. Baltimore City crime is no longer a local problem. The issue now has the attention of state house leaders of both parties. And I think the number one issue is crime in Baltimore. It's an issue that we all have to address. We all have to step up and figure out how to get this thing fixed. We're very concerned about the crime in Baltimore City and know that this is a, not just a Baltimore City problem, but, but it's a, a problem that the whole state needs to get involved to try to help solve. Several pieces of legislation are aimed at crime fighting in Baltimore. Senate President Mike Miller supports creating a police academy at Coppin State University and is backing a plan by Johns Hopkins University to create its own police force. But he's meeting resistance from Baltimore City Senator-elect Mary Washington. She worries privatization will set a precedent. I'm ideologically opposed to any privatization, whether it's Amazon, uh, whether it's AT&T, uh, whether it's a local community association. Also on the table, sweeping juvenile justice reform with an emphasis on services rather than punishment. Lawmakers' plates are full this session as each party gathers separately for unity luncheons. Democrats plan to dish out a $15 an hour minimum wage. Their legislative menu includes individual mandates for health insurance and a commission to set the rate of prescription drugs. <laughs> there will be a scramble for education money to support current commission recommendations. Possible funding sources include legalizing and taxing sports betting and marijuana. And I think we're going to come out of, out of the blocks uh, pretty quickly. Uh, you know, Senator Miller and I have been working together, and hopefully we're going to be able to uh, put some of those initiatives in the forefront in this first year. And this room is affectionately known as the pit. It's a press room. The presiding officers are asking the State House Trust to rename it after those who lost their lives during the Gazette shooting. The Speaker Bush says it would be a tribute to those and to all news media. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.